Michelle is on our Science SOL on Simple Machines. We've done this for about five or six years now. It's a great project. We teach the kids first the Simple Machine itself, all six of them. Then once they learn those, we do our kickoff to our project out on the playground. We have um, one class representative from each class mimic having some sort of physical disability. And we actually have the rest of third grade sit on the blacktop and watch as we have those kids try to play at recess. So then we charge the kids with a project that they have to work in a group to create a, a playground piece of equipment using their knowledge of simple machines. We went to Arc Park right here in Richmond, then we went to the Science Museum as well to build their background knowledge, and then they spent three days working with a group, designing blueprints, and designing their piece of equipment, which was very uh, challenging for some to share ideas and actually agree, very worthwhile effort. And today, we culminate with their building. We collect recyclables, and they actually build their police piece, a model of their playground equipment which they then will present tomorrow to kindergarten. We're building a playground that was helpful for any type of child that has disabilities, such as broken arms, broken legs, blindness, people that are in a wheelchair, and they can't, people that can't do things, that it's supposed to be a playground that people can, people with disabilities can play in. We build like two little playhouses, to one is for kind of a little type of learning playhouse, and the other is like actual fun playhouse where there's board games and a drawing station and like different games you play in there. It was more for everybody for, to do a project where everybody was included, so that everybody has a chance to do this and they could like have some fun with it. My group did a playground that's accessible for all ages and all kids. My favorite part of this project was when we got to build with all the things we brought in from home. I really like working in a group because everyone works with me and they're really kind. Let's go find some PBL is so important because it engages students in active learning. They take the content, like in this case, simple machines, which cannot be that exciting sometimes, but they are learning about how to take what they've learned about simple machines and apply it to a situation, a problem that they have to solve. In this case, they have to figure out how they can make a playground equipment accessible to all. I love the fact that they've taken the content, they've solved the problem, but they're also thinking about how we can make the world a better place. How can we make a playground that is accessible to everyone? That's what learning should be about. Taking what you learn, but taking it as far as a child wants to go with it. The kids are very excited about PBL projects, and this one in particular. They love, as you know, all kids this age love recess, so we thought a really powerful part of this experiment and project was to connect it to something they know. So building this project around recess and recess equipment has greatly increased their learning. All PBL projects though I'd say the number one plus is student engagement and excitement. 